What's up, guys? SmartHelping.com here, and uh, well, I just got uh, I changed over from Excel to like the standard version where you buy it and change to Office 365. And here's why: I wanted the filter and sort functions, and those are not available in the regular Excel version. It might not be avail available until 2022. Um, so there's a lot of misinformation out there. It took me like a day to sift through everything and uh, I ended up buying the wrong thing, then I had to refund it. So here is the current status, and it's February 2020 right now. So if you want to use the filter functions, um, because they're really nice, they're dynamic arrays, um, like you can you can look at a data set and say, I only want to return you know a certain um, amount of rows based on a given column meeting the criteria or multiple columns meeting multiple criteria and we'll get into the filter function and the sort here shortly but I just want to go over how you actually figure this out so um, first of all you have to have office 365 you can have personal you can have office home uh, 365 business 365 whatever it just has to be uh, something with 365 and for mine, um, I just did the cheapest one, which was like seventy some dollars a year. So once you actually install it, so you purchase it, install it. Uh, as long as you're logged into your account, you should be able to open it up uh, just fine. However, you will not be able to use filters and sorts and dynamic arrays yet. You then have to go to File, Account. And then you have to go to Office Insider and you have to change your level or sign up for it. Now, I just did the monthly one, which is the slower version, but it's more stable. You can also do just the regular Insider version, which is less stable. I wouldn't recommend that. I would just do the monthly. So go to Office Insider, get that set up. You might have to sign up for it in your um, actual account as well, in your Microsoft account. Uh, but it's free. You don't, you don't have to pay any money to get the Office Insider, and it'll just send you, um, let's say I did a monthly channel targeted, and this will allow you to use the dynamic functions. So let's check it out. So let's say I want to filter, and I want to actually show all of the data, and you could use whatever, it doesn't matter how far. I want to filter it, and I want to include only if the color is red so I do that column equals red and now watch what happens this should give me all the values from A to C that are red and there you go and uh, just format this real quick short date so there it is filter function working in Excel no extra add-ons or scripts or anything it's it's pretty cool uh, the other thing you can do, let's scoot over a little bit here, is you can filter with multiple criteria. It's not as easy as Google Sheets, but um, you can still do it. And this is one of the reasons why I use Google Sheets so much with data work, like I'm doing data analysis and all kinds of different things. Um, with data, you often have to use Google Sheets because of these filter functions. But now, uh, with Excel, you can do it. And Excel has other things that you might want to, for, you know, it works. It has other features that may, might make you want to use Excel over Google Sheets. Sometimes just the general capacity of it, but there's other things as well. Um, so it's nice that you can now use it on Excel, and that's why I'm excited because this is going to open up uh, it'll make a lot of the work I have to do a lot easier so multiple criteria let's say I want to say um, let's, let's see we'll do let's add another criteria let's do um, size so let's say uh, big short or small so you got some sizes here and you actually only want to pull the data set if 
let's see, we want A1, let's go all the way to C, and you could pull, you could have it to return only one column, or you could have it multiple columns, I'll show you that too as well, so hold on. So we want to pull all of A to C if, let's say if the color equals green and you do a multiplication symbol between them so that's like kind of saying another one and the size equals small and then you can see there's actually only two that are green or actually there's yeah there's only two that are green and small listed and then we well, could do another you could keep doing as many criteria as you want you just keep repeating this uh pattern here the range Criteria, multiplication, range, criteria, and just keep going as much as you want. So there you go. Change the format there. So now we've got another dynamic array where it's going to pull anything. And as this updates, let's say we add something else. So let's say put the date for today. Let's say we added something that's uh, red. 22.25 and small. So you can see that automatically updated our array here. Now let's try to add one to the other one. Let's make it uh, green. And it has to also be listed as small. There you go. So that automatically filled in there. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, the only thing I do, uh, Google Sheets still has a little advantage because in Google Sheets you can define the range as like B1 to B. And it will just take it all but here if you have to give a number to the range it's so like 10 or 100 or a thousand or ten thousand but other than that i mean it's really it's going to be a nice function to use so that's filtering um with excel office 365 uh based on some some data you've got you can also just let's say i wanted to filter a specific column so I do, uh, let's say I only wanted to filter A. So I just wanted to see the dates uh, based on all the criteria. You can see it'll just show the dates there. Uh, or you could do like, let's say we want those to filter the values. So C are the values. So there, it lists them. And you can actually wrap this around a sum. You can say, I want to sum all those values. And now you could just, it'll show you one value, which is summing up that dynamic. Uh, range and that will all this all updates as the raw data updates and that's the huge benefit here uh, It's great for dashboarding. It's great for like having specific tabs that just you want to show You have a bunch of raw data and you only want to show that data if it equals certain values You can create dashboards and funnels and stuff for like your sales pipeline There's just so much stuff you can do with this and it's super useful so uh there's the filter, single criteria, multiple criteria. You can also do the sort function, which is like sort. So let's say you wanted to sort this, um, and you wanted to sort it by uh, the value, and then we'll put uh, ascending, oh, A2 to D8. What happened here? I've never used this in Excel, actually. This is the very first time. Let me see what's going on. Uh, so sort index is by column C. I want to sort it by ascending. So like smallest and then biggest later. Uh, sort by column. Yes. Oh, I got to put true. Oh, why isn't this working? If I use a formula, wrong data type. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, so I figured out real quick. Uh, let me put this into a short date so it makes sense. So what? So when you do sort, you can pick your range, whatever it might be. It could be all the columns or just one or two or whatever. And then your second criteria here, three, is the column you're sorting by. So let's say I sort by column two, which is the color. It should just rank it in 
yep, so there you go. See the blues and the greens and the reds. And uh, there's nothing there because I went to all the way to 10. There's some blank rows. Let's go to 8 only. So you can also sort, which is nice. Um, now you can sort. Let's say we wanted to sort by column 3. And also, that's now going to be an ascending. So there you go, ascending order. You can go descending by hitting oh, minus one. So the biggest at the top. Or you can sort by whatever columns. And it'll sort these from A to Z. Um, if it's text or if it's a value, it'll sort from biggest to smallest, smallest to biggest. And you could do, let's say you only wanted to sort um, B. It doesn't work. So your, your, uh, your sort index has to be at least as it can't be bigger than how many columns you're sorting. So there you go. We'll put this all over to D and we'll do sort by values, uh, descending order. I'll put this, these over here, put this back up here. values for a single column. So this might be a nice resource. I'm going to post this for free. It'll be in a Google Sheet link, but you can actually download that right to your Excel in it. It's uh, it'll work in Excel. Uh, so again, I'm really excited about all of this. It's really nice to have this in Excel. And hopefully this helps everybody who's having problems figuring out how to make this work. Um, hopefully it's clear now. Have it, Oh, and before I forget, obviously, um, I do build financial models and uh, kind of CRM trackers in Excel and Google Sheets, uh, visuals, dashboards for, for businesses. Uh, if you want to check those out, you can go to smarthelping.com. that in here and check that out greatly appreciate your support there all right see you on the next one